Good morning everyone. This is Teresa with Mountain Air Farms. Uh, I want to welcome you to uh, May 1st, which is the first Saturday of May. And if you're not aware of what the first Saturday of May is, it's National uh, Garden Naked Day. So, we're out here in the gardens. And Randy has already tilled up the garden. Uh, we've got several garden sections. One is on both sides of my greenhouse. One is behind the greenhouse. The other is on the opposite side of the field and in our old rail pen. So, what we're doing this morning, I've laid my plants out. Um, if you've never done any gardening, it's always good to talk to your local uh, uh, gardening store or, or a local farmer give tell you the best varieties to grow in your area do a little research talk to your agricultural areas even if it's starting off small in a little garden pot on the carport or a terrace of your house uh, start off small grow you a tomato plant next year grow you two start growing your own uh, you'll enjoy it a whole lot better. So what we've done today, uh, we've got everything tilled, and I've set out plants where we're going to be putting them out. This section is going to be peppers, all peppers, tomatoes. I've got uh, red tomatoes. I've got celebrity tomatoes, which is wonderful. Uh, I've got yellow peppers. I've got green peppers. I've got red peppers, orange peppers, yellow peppers. So we're going to set them all out. Uh, the next section back there, we're going to have squash, zucchini, uh, anything with a vine. And if you'll notice, the ground slopes. And uh, that allows the, the uh, vines to grow down the slopes. So it makes it easier. So, as you can tell, it is. I've got, I am out here. It's garden neck day. I've got my feet in the dirt. And even my dogs are naked. There's one of them. There's another one out there in the field rolling around. He's just having a good old time. Probably rolling in some cow poop. So, uh, get out. Enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day. Get your feet dirty. Put your toes in the dirt, enjoy the good green earth that we have, that God's given us. And get gardening and start enjoying your harvest. Well, I'll uh, talk to you later when we got a lot of things out here planted. So y'all have a great morning. Alright, I am back. We've got this one section planted. And I want to show you these little celebrities. Let me find it here. Those are celebrity tomato plants. They are beautiful plants when they grow. They uh, produce a nice medium-sized tomato. The stalk is actually about as big around as your finger. And so they're less likely to break or fall over. And they don't get that five foot tall. Uh, they get about three foot tall and they get more of a bush. So if you're going to plant any tomatoes in pots, I suggest those. They, they uh, produce really good. So we've got tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. And Randy, if you can... We've got peppers. He's, he is watering them in. To get wet. We have the yellow peppers, the orange peppers, the green peppers, the yellow peppers. A nice water in. First of the week, they're calling for a lot of rain. So we'll water them in really good today, and then the first of the week they're going to be watered in with 
Good old Mother Nature. Now this is just the first bed. We've got three, four other beds to go. Again, it's a beautiful day to get out, put your toes in the dirt, enjoy what God's gave you, and uh, we'll check back with you here shortly. Okay, we're back. We're on the opposite side of the greenhouse, and we've got cabbage that we have planted, and uh, two different varieties, so I'm hoping... Both varieties come up. One variety, I think they may have mislabeled. Uh, so this is a tomato plant. <laughs> yeah, Randy says it looks and smells like a tomato plant, not cabbage. Uh, trick to, if you're planting cabbage and you've had bugs in your cabbage, an old farmer told us, always plant your cabbage in a different place every year because the bugs can't find them. Yeah, they lay their eggs. If they find them in one spot, say like if they found them here, and then they laid their eggs, well then next year those eggs are gonna be hatching and you're gonna have more bugs. So every year, plant your cabbage in a different spot. Uh, that's for if you're gardening. Uh, if you're doing it by a planter, that probably is not the same. Uh, because you're cleaning that planter out and refreshing it with fresh soil every year. But as far as for cabbage in your garden, uh, always have it in a different spot every year. Also, um, we were told last year we had a problem with what's known as bloom rot, where the top of the tomato looked beautiful, but you turn it over and it was just rotted on the bottom. Um, we were told that that was a lack of calcium. So if you see you start having a, a problem with your tomatoes rotting, go to your local uh, general store, dollar store, dollar only, whatever. Buy a large pack of Tums, crunch them up, throw them in your garden, and that stops that because there is a lack of calcium. Now the sun is starting to get pretty high. Uh, we've got our wheelbarrow full of other things that's going out in the next bedding plant area. Uh, we have uh, squash, zucchini, cucumbers, uh, watermelon, different varieties here. And uh, we actually went to our local farmer's market and bought a lot of the plants. Um, and they look very healthy. Um, I have to give a shout out to one of our local farmers. This is this is a watermelon, I believe. Yeah. Somewhere in there, there's a there is a label. Yeah, it says watermelon. Uh, this is came from uh, a local greenhouse, Tater Valley Greenhouse in Luttrell. Uh, it's a hundred year old farm, and they used to do dairy farm, I believe, and now. They just do the greenhouses, and I mean, their plants look better than anything I have grown yet in my greenhouse. So, uh, and they were, no joke, $2 for this big old flat, and there's six watermelon plants in there. $2. You cannot go and buy the seeds and grow in the dirt, in the soil, in the pot, and grow them any cheaper. Um, Get out, get gardening. Um, yours, it'll surprise you how much money you will save. I apologize, my, my lens cap's flipping there. You save so much when you're gardening. You may have $20 in plants, maybe even $30 in plants. But, uh, for example, these here, these are sweet potatoes. All right, that one little vine here of sweet potato is going to produce anywhere from 6 to 12, maybe 14 nice big sweet potatoes. You go to the grocery store and you're going to spend $2 for a sweet potato. So you're going to get a big return in the long run. It's a little bit of work, 
but it is so gratifying when you can plant your own seeds or plant your own plant watch it grow till it nurture it watch it grow and get the food off of that one plant and know that you grew it you didn't put no chemicals in it that it was your plant from start to finish it is the the amount of gratification is just unmatched uh, so anyway and you know plus it tastes better it's not something that came from you know some other country and it's shipped in and it was shipped in raw and it had to you know ripen up it's right here it's right in your own dirt so i mean there is a world of difference so uh, like i said even if you have to start small if you say well Teresa, i don't have a, a farm i don't have acreage well you know what if you have a patio and you could put out three or four pots out on the patio and put some maybe a pot of tomatoes and maybe a peppers maybe the third plant plant some onions well you know what come summertime you have a summer salad you know chop up those tomatoes and peppers and onions and throw a little bit of uh, Italian dressing you've got a summer salad start small next year maybe get a little bit bigger maybe you've got maybe a small backyard but uh, in this small backyard maybe you could put a uh, oh maybe a 10 foot by 5 foot garden area you know a 10 foot by 5 foot garden area you could put two or three tomato plants you could put cucumbers you could put onions you could grow uh, potatoes you could grow watermelon you can grow any vine i mean look at your area see what you can do also uh, there's farmers that will rent acreage out so you can grow and till and do the work um, also local farmers have what's known as a gsa which uh, basically you buy shares of their farm uh, you may pay two hundred dollars for the year but from spring through fall through the harvest you're go every week you're going to get a bushel of whatever they're harvesting it may be a bushel of beans it may be a bushel of corn it may be a you know a bushel of fruit who knows depending on what they're harvest look at your local farmers uh, go to your uh, local farmers markets ask if any of them do share you know uh, GSA which is grow share organization I believe is what's it called where uh, they will share their fruit their bounty that $200 that you may pay pay for all of their seeds for the whole year that may pay for their fertilizing for the whole year and it's well worth it to give you a bushel of whatever they're producing every week so think about it start supporting your local farmers um, this country we need to get back to our uh, own grassroots we need to get back to farming and growing our own produce and and living off the land because if we're not careful it can get took away from us so y'all enjoy the day uh, think what I said if you have any questions please uh, a comment out I, I don't mind I answer questions I, if I don't know the answer I can get the answer for you but get down into dirt today enjoy the dirt enjoy the soil enjoy the sunshine and uh, like I said today is garden naked day and I'm gonna have some suntan legs and probably some sunburn areas but you know what that's okay I've enjoyed the day and the sun's going to come out and I would rather get everything in the garden <laughs> before it gets too hot. Well, you all have a wonderful day, a blessed day. Always remember, we love you. God loves you. Remember to like, share, make a comment if you need to, if you want to. As always, have a great day.